hey guys, I'm going to show you a really cool tutorial today, and it's about changing render settings and water effects when you jump into water. Um, this might be a tutorial series, and I'll show you how to do swimming and things like that, but for the basics here, we're going to really show, make a script which actually checks for your character's Y position, so the height at which your character is, and then once you jump into water and you get past a certain height, it will change render settings so it gives the illusion that you're actually underwater. So what you can see in my scene at the minute is just a, literally a plank here so I can jump into the water, first person, character controller, some daylight water, a simple terrain with a sky box and a directional light. And all um, in my scene is with a little bit of fog enabled so edit, render settings and then you can change your fog, so your fog density and your fog density is all dependent on your scene so mine's quite low because if I set it any higher it gets really thick does the fog so if I show you what happens now when I jump into the water you know nothing really happens you just jump into there you fall down and you don't really see any water it's just you look like you're just on some ground somewhere so what first off what we'll do is we've got daylight water here if we press control D and we duplicate that what we'll do is set its Y position to 34, so it's just slightly below our current water plane. And if we set its X rotation to 180, and then we'll play the actual scene again, and we jump in, it actually looks like we see the water and we can see the sky from the top so it looks you know it gives the illusion that we're you know underwater a little bit but really the the true test comes from the script that we're going to create so if we right click on the project um, window and we create new javascript file and what we're going to call this is underwater so this is going to be our basis for detecting when we're underwater and how um, we're going to do it so when mono develop loads up what we're going to do is we're going to going to create a well pretty much four new variables so we're going to create a variable called water level and we're going to set that as flow so that variable is something that we can change ourselves and not just based on the script so then we're going to create three other variables one private variable called is underwater and set that to a boolean and then we're going to create another private variable called normal color and set that to type of color but sometimes unity brings in an auto suggestion which I don't want and then what we're going to do now is copy this this same line because it's going to be very very similar and set this to underwater color so it doesn't really matter what you've written in these black segments because all they are is variable names that we're going to reference throughout the script. So in our start function what we're going to do is write normal color so we're just taking the variable and making it so that it's set itself to a new color and what we're going to do is open up brackets and tell it the color that we want it to be set to so what we can do is we need four numbers so what we can do is to set them pretty much all the same because that just means that the 050505 and 05 means that it's actually going to be the grey colour that you'd see normally in, as fog would be at a distance and um, the F just means it's a float value so that's all and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy that same line and we're going to change normal colour similar to up there and we're going to change that to the underwater color but we're going to change the values so 0 0.22 0 0.65 0 0.77 0 0.5 and that just sets it to a light blue color you can change all these values and test them however you want but for the sake of this I'm just running through as you know we want it to go so now in the update function we're going to write an if statement that says transform dot position dot y and if it's less than the water level that we've set um, 
then it's equal to is underwater. And then what we're going to change then what we're going to do is going to create two curly brackets underneath so we can reference something in the if statement so then we need to set what is underwater is equal to transform dot position dot y is less than water level similarly like what we had up the top and then we'll write another couple of ifs so if water if is underwater and then set to actually underwater and this is going to be another function that we're calling then we'll write if then exclamation mark this time is underwater again then set set normal which is going to be another function that we're going to call so all the updates function does is if the y, your y position is less than the water level then it's going to do either of these two cases if it's lower than the level then we're going to set we're going to call the underwater function yet if it's still above the water if you've got an exclamation mark before it then it's going to set the actual normal color from that function so we're going to create two new functions so we're going to set not name function like we've named above set normal and then we've got curly brackets in there and we're going to have another function called set under water but I'll leave that as a lowercase like my other one and then another two curly brackets underneath so in the set normal what we're going to do is we're going to type render settings dot fog color equals whatever our normal color was at the top of in our start function normal color semicolon and then what we're going to do is similarly again render settings dot fog density equals and for me um, the normal was not point not not two f and then we'll put a semicolon and we want to copy those two lines and write them in the set underwater function and then we're just going to change the fog color to underwater color like we did so there so it sets the color for us and then we're going to change the fog density to 0 0.03 depending on what you want and this is all dependent on personal preference so you can change all these values and things so all we need to do now is save the code and if we go to the main camera and we drag underwater to it you'll see that we have a variable set so if you remember the actual um, water we had was set to 35 in the Y position we can go back to our main camera now and set 35 here and what this means is we'll actually get this script to function correctly so if we now run the game and we jump off the edge what you'll see is now when you're underwater you actually get a type of um, fog which comes close to you and looks like you are actually underwater so it gives the illusion that you're actually under the water and you can adjust all these amounts for whatever you feel but simply that's all you need to do to change the render settings so when you get below a certain amount it changes that so it gives that illusion um, I may do more tutorials on this depending on um, what, what I find out and what other people want but for now that's really simple so if you like the tutorial don't forget to rate like comment and subscribe thanks very much cheers